Welcome back to the shop. Today we are making a stand, a show stand. And so far I have taken two cupboard doors of the same thickness and the same material, which is oak. And uh, I've glued them together, going in the same green direction. And as you can see here, I am scraping off the old finish with an old chisel. Once the old finish has been scraped off, I'm just taking the orbital with some sandpaper, just general purpose sandpaper on it, and uh, just to smooth out the uh, anything I may have forgotten or missed with the chisel, and just start nice clean slate. At this point, I have squared up the board, all four ends on the table saw, and I am now putting a 45 degree angle on all the ends just to give it some depth and contrast. And here I've decided to set the saw back to 90 degrees and to square off the top section approximately halfway down just to uh, not make that 45 degree angle so sharp. And here I've got some processed oak used from old hardwood flooring. I'm just putting a beveled edge on my router table and uh, just give it some pop. After I routered the boards, I put 45 degree miters on them. So now that the boards are cut, I've arranged them in a form almost like a picture frame. And this is on the lower part of the board, just to give it that depth of a thicker material. Using some square maple I had kicking around, I made a template out of paper, just to give me the shape I'm looking for. And I transferred that onto the piece of wood. Here on my trusty bandsaw, I'm cutting out the four legs along the template lines I just laid out. Here I've taken the boards. Turn them 90 degrees and laid out that same shaped template on that side and then cut it out. With my belt sander bolted to my bench, I just sort of clean up the edges just to take some saw blade marks out and make it look more professional. Just laying everything out, make sure everything's looking good so far. So now that everything's cut and ready to go, 
it's time for assembly. I'm going to start with the picture frame and assembling that to the legs. I'm going to be using glue and finishing nails and I will be pre-drilling the wood before I hammer in the finishing nails. It takes some time to align everything, figure out the positioning and where you'd like to put the legs. Once you figure that out on the first one, the rest are easy. And this is what we end up with. Once I've squared up the bottom section to the top section, I then drill holes to make sure that there's no splitting. I add a bunch of glue, not too much, but just enough. You don't want it to seep out the edge. Once everything is in place, I now can nail in some finishing nails. We have a visitor in the shop. Hi, Maya. Now for a final inspection. Make sure all the corners lined up, crisp. Everything looks good. Make sure it's cleaned off. And you got to test to make sure it holds a little bit of weight. This is a stain I've chosen. It's a stain and poly in one. Figured I'd give it a try. Never used it before, but there's only one way to find out. I'm using a fairly small brush, but that's what I had available at the time. And I'm applying two, maybe three coats, very thin. And like every project, I have to put my stamp on it. So this year I'm actually putting a stamp on it. Little plaques I got made. So hope everyone liked my stand video. More to come. Thanks for watching.